Ladies and gentlemen, many people believe the Raiders are about to make a big move. Chandler Jones, after a social media meltdown, has now unfollowed Max Crosby and the Raiders. And Lombardi, McDaniel's friend in the media, speaks on Chandler Jones. He has previously bashed Carr and Darren Waller. And the Raiders have also had a restructure on quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo's contract. What does this all mean? We're going to break this down. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Raiders content. So we had our video documenting the meltdown that Chandler Jones had on social media calling out Josh McDaniels and general manager Dave Ziegler saying he doesn't want to play for these guys anymore saying that they locked him out of the facility and were in contact with his baby mama a lot of crazy stuff but now on top of that Chandler Jones has made some adjustments to his social media he's a very active guy on social media and as you look here and you look through who he's following someone who he used to be following someone who's a captain of the Raiders and by the way Chandler Chandler Jones is not a captain this year, was last year, but he is no longer following Max Crosby or the Raiders on Instagram. So this is absolutely insane. It's showing that things are hitting an impasse and things are not okay between the two parties. Some people are trying to act like, oh, Chandler Jones is crazy. Some people know that mm, it looks like the Raiders, Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler did something to Chandler Jones to piss him off. And now Chandler Jones is distancing himself from the team. And it looks like the guy is not going to be on the team anymore. Keep in mind, he's still following some people who are on the Raiders team, like Marcus Epps, new safety on the Raiders. He's also following Hunter Renfro. I took a look at this earlier. And many other players who are on the Raiders, he's just not following Max Crosby and the Raiders' actual social media account. This is alarming and shows that his time with the Raiders could be done soon, but his contract makes that very difficult. Because Chandler Jones had a three-year, $51 million contract with the Raiders with $32 million guaranteed, the Raiders would eat $12.4 million in dead money in 12.2 next year in dead cap if they traded the guy. They basically cannot move on from the guy without losing so much money. So I don't see so I don't know if they trade him. Who knows what they're doing with him right now, but I find it very difficult for him to be able to leave the team under normal circumstances due to the cap situation. And the Raiders media team is going to have to answer to these questions on Chandler Jones tomorrow. Something is going to happen with that guy. I don't think things can go back to normal at this point, but Michael Lombardi, the freaking dad of the offensive coordinator, Mick Lombardi, who has shaded Darren Waller, who has shaded Derek Carr on their exit. He is always defending Josh McDaniels in the media because he employs his son. So you better defend your son's boss. Well, he was asked about the Chandler Jones situation, and this is pretty much the first official word from somebody inside the Raiders organization. You can try to pretend that Michael Lombardi is not a part of the Raiders organization. It's the freaking dad of the offensive coordinator. I think he knows a thing or two, and I think he's speaking on behalf of them because every time he's out there in the media he's defending them you know trying to make sense of what they're doing and try to basically bash anybody who criticizes josh mcdaniels and the raiders and here's what he did today now on chandler jones the chandler jones one sometimes it, it never always goes as planned with chandler jones so you always have to be a little bit so right away he's already targeting chandler jones pat mcafee had just asked him about all these crazy instagram stories and messages by chandler jones and and rather than addressing what they're actually saying, and rather than addressing the claims of Chandler Jones, he immediately just goes and attacks who Chandler Jones is, saying that you can never really trust anything with him and it never really works out. It never always goes as planned with Chandler Jones. So you always have to be a little bit wondering what's happened because one minute he was happy, yesterday, he, today he's not. And so that's the key thing. They're going to try to make Chandler Jones look crazy here. Who knows if that's the case? I don't want to just assume that somebody's crazy, especially if he's somebody that the Raiders brought in. They gave him a $51 million contract last year. I'm sure they knew he wasn't crazy when they gave him that contract. So I'm going to go ahead and believe that he's not crazy. But right away, he's saying, oh, he was happy about the Raiders, you know, one day and then the next day he's not. Something must have happened. Something must have changed. He's trying to act like, oh, it's just his mind doing this. Nothing actually happened. He's just one day he likes McDaniels. The other day he doesn't. A little bit wondering what's happened because one minute he was happy. Yesterday, he, today, he's not. And basically, he doesn't say anything anything else about Chandler Jones. All he tries to do is so doubt in your mind that Chandler Jones is a stable person and really offers nothing else. And I think the Raiders are afraid to speak out on this. You have Vic Tafer of The Athletic, Hondo Carpenter of Sports Illustrated, both saying that they reached out and they're trying to get word on what's going on. Same thing with Vinny B of the Las Vegas Review Journal. He reached out and there's no comment by the Raiders because Wednesday they have their 
press conference. They have their practice. They'll have to speak to the media. They'll have to answer to this. But this right here might be connected to Chandler Jones, and that is Jimmy Garoppolo getting a contract extension. This is actually huge news. This means that the Raiders are fully buying into the Jimmy Garoppolo experience after Addendum G. Things got really tricky where the Raiders were able to move on from Jimmy G at no cost. All of his roster bonus was originally his salary. And basically how it was is if Jimmy G re-injured his left foot specifically, the Raiders could just cut him and, and have no consequences, no dead money at all. But that is all changed right now as Jimmy G's contract has been restructured, creating $17 million in cap space for 2023. And the Raiders were a team that needed to get their cap in order. They're one of few teams that needed to create cap room before the start of the regular season. They were over by $7 million. And now you have them creating $17 million in cap space. So you have an extra $10 million there. I would assume the Raiders are going to restructure some other contracts from players who they expect to be here for quite some time. Raiders have enough space right now to make a big move. And when we're talking about Chandler Jones having some problems with the Raiders, not allowed into the facility, unfollowing Max Crosby on Instagram and the Raiders on Instagram, maybe a move is happening. Maybe he knows something is happening. That's why he lashed out on social media. That's why we have radio silence from Josh McDaniels and the Raiders. Perhaps a big move is happening. And if that does happen, I think a lot of fans who are a little concerned that Josh McDaniels keeps on having feuds with players of this team, especially players that he gives contracts to. I think that would make a lot of people happy knowing that this makes sense, knowing that Chandler Jones got upset because they made a big move. But like we mentioned before, this Jimmy Garoppolo contract restructure really is a big move because he was not guaranteed much this year. And now, and now that 17 million of what he was making against the cap is now going to be a bonus. The Raiders are fully bought into this guy. They must believe he's going to be able to finish a season, at least not re-injure that left foot. And if that's the case, this guy is set to be the QB, not only this year, not only is he set to be the QB this year, but a little bit of next year as well. The Raiders would eat an $11 million dead cap hit if they moved on from Jimmy Garoppolo next year. There's going to be a bonus that kicks in in March in this upcoming year. If they get rid of him before, then they may be able to wiggle out of this. But all in all, this is a full commitment to Jimmy Garoppolo. This is a little bad for people who want to see Aiden O'Connell start right away. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen barring any injury to Jimmy Garoppolo. And I personally do not think the Raiders would have made this move restructuring this contract if they did not think that Jimmy would be able to make it out healthy the rest of this year. And look, some people are saying this means the Raiders are going to trade for Nick Bosa. We know he's been having some contract holdouts with the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, I would love this. Do I think it's actually happening? No, but I think this would be an amazing move. Think about it. We did the math about how much cap space the Raiders saved by restructuring Jimmy Garoppolo's contract. It seems at most they have about $10 million in cap space. And like we mentioned earlier, in order to move off Chandler Jones through a trade, not even through a release, you're going to eat $12.4 million in dead money against the cap. So Chandler Jones, no matter what, is going to count that much against the cap. Whether you trade him or release him, he's counting that much. So really, I don't think they have enough cap space to even trade Chandler Jones. This guy would have to retire in order for them to move on from him. And it seems like he wanted to play for the Raiders this year. Still seems like he's going to play. I don't see this guy retiring. So on one level, the Raiders look like they're preparing for a big move. But the fact that they have to get rid of Chandler Jones at this point, because I don't see how it works out. I don't see how they just sweep this under the rug. Then I don't think they have enough cap space to even make a big move. But if there is some way they could resolve the situation with Chandler Jones, who knows if they can get out of that contract. But as of right now, I don't see how. Who knows? Maybe the Raiders will take a crack at Chris Jones if they could find a way to get out of Chandler Jones's contract. We also know Brian Burns is out there holding out. So maybe the Raiders are trying to pursue this guy. But keep in mind, the Raiders already have Tyree Wilson. They selected that dude with the number seven overall pick. I think you select a guy like that to play, even though he doesn't look 100% healthy. Either way, something is going to happen with this amount of cap space. You don't create this much cap space for no reason. Maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying to get rid of Chandler Jones and they need more cap space to do it. Maybe they're trying to make a trade for another player, especially if it seems like they're not going to have Chandler Jones' services this year. But either way, they'll have to answer the tough questions soon on Wednesday and the game is right around the corner. Give me your score predictions now in the comments below between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Denver Broncos. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.